Welcome to the FBSG JIRA integration. Today we're going to look at how our integration syncs issue tickets from JIRA to Sugar and how you can create a new issue ticket in Sugar and sync it with JIRA. But first, let's check out the control panel. To do this, you want to click on the admin icon and select the admin option, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and select the JIRA integration control panel. And you'll be redirected to the control panel's main page. Here, you'll put in your URL username, JIRA password, as well as the product key from Faye Business Systems Group. After that, you'll want to click the test button. This will make sure that all your information is both correct and valid. After you've confirmed that, click on the save button to make sure your settings are saved. Let's check out the mapping tab now. Out of the box, our integration comes pre-mapped. You won't need to change any of these settings, but you can if you want to. And if you use custom fields in JIRA that you'd like to use in Sugar, you can retrieve those by clicking on the Retrieve button. If at any point in time you want to go back to the default mapping, just click on the Revert button and it will set it back to the default. There's also an additional option down at the bottom underneath the Account Matching. Here, you can choose how you want JIRA issue tickets to match to an account. In our example, we're going to match the account name to the JIRA project key. Now anytime a project key matches an account name, they'll be linked. This make it a lot easier to find them. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Either way, any changes you made, you'll need to click Save to ensure that they stay. Let's check out the Advanced tab. There's a, lot of there's a lot of cool settings in here that you may want to take advantage of. The first is the Don't Create Issues in Sugar from JIRA. This may be particularly useful if you have a lot of JIRA issue tickets that you don't want to have synced, or if you only want to start fresh. This means that only the tickets created in Sugar will be synced with JIRA, and only the tickets in Sugar will be updated. You also have the project settings. You can choose to exclude projects from the sync, meaning that if there's a handful of projects you don't want to have synced with your Sugar instance, you can pick those out. Let's say I don't want the sample project. This means this project will not be synced with my Sugar instance. But maybe this is the only project I want synced. You can choose only include selected projects. So maybe you have a handful of projects that you're really interested in and you don't want any others. You can pick all of those and now only these projects will be synced with Jira. Synced from Jira to Sugar. It's a pretty cool feature. You can also click on the Run button. This will allow you to force a sync between Sugar and Jira. Normally the syncs are handled by the Sugar scheduler, but if you want something done immediately, you can come here and click Run. Now. Let's go check out our JIRA issues. These are all the issues that have currently been synced from JIRA to Sugar. How about we create a new one? Go and click on the Create button, and here we'll enter in all the information we need. This is a new test JIRA ticket. I'm going to go ahead and select an account. For this one, I'm going to select the Trait Institute Incorporated. I'm going to leave it as a type bug, status open. I don't have any resolution for it yet. It's so a minor priority. I'm going to select the reporter. And I'm going to give a description. This is just going to be and there you go. Let's go ahead and click Save. But if you want to view it immediately, you want to click on the Save and View. And there you go. Here's our new test JIRA ticket. But you may notice there's some information that's missing. The issue key is missing the JIRA date created and date modified. That's because this issue hasn't been synced yet with JIRA. If you want to sync it right away, you can go ahead and click on the action menu and click send to JIRA. Depending on your connection with your JIRA server, this could take very long or it could go very quickly. Go and click confirm and your issue has been sent to JIRA. And there you go. The issue has been successfully sent to JIRA. When I refresh the page, information that's not here right now will appear. So let's take a look. There we go. We have a new issue key. We also have a date created and a date modified. Now, you can also check a look at all the issues that are linked to a specific account. In this case, we have the account Trait Institute Incorporated. Let's go look at their account page in the account module and look at all the issue tickets that are linked to it. Scroll down to the bottom you'll see our JIRA issue subpanel. And there you go. These are all the tickets that are linked with this particular account. 
You can also choose to create a new JIRA ticket from within the accounts module by clicking on the plus button for create and go through the exact same process. In fact, this may help you do it faster because the account will already be pre-populated. You can also add the JIRA issues to a dashlet. Let me show you how. I'm going to navigate back to my main dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and edit it and add a dashlet. You're going to want to pick the list view dashlet. And then you're going to want to change the module to the JIRA issues module. This is where it can get really cool. You can choose which columns you want to see. Now for me, I really am not interested in the priority or the issue key or the JIRA type or the project key or the day it was created. I only want to know the name of the problem, the accounts associated with, its current status, when was the last time it got modified, and who's in charge of it. I also want to make sure I have plenty of rows to see. And I also want to be kept up to date pretty often. And there we go. Let me go ahead and click Save on my new dashboard. And here is my JIRA issues. This will just keep me up to date on all my most current issues. Pretty neat, huh? You can also add this dashlet to the account if you want to view certain kinds of issue tickets associated with an account. Let's go back to our Trait Institute Incorporated account. Let's add one there. I'm going to add it to my dashboard off to the side. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Let's call this our JIRA dashboard. Go through the exact same process. We're going to pick the list view. We're going to change it from accounts module to the JIRA issues module. And here, down in the filter, maybe I want to do the critical issues only. And for this time, maybe I want all the information because I'm in the account module. I'll go ahead and click Save. Click Save again. And there you go. Now I have a JIRA dashlet within my accounts module that shows me all the critical issues associated with this particular account. You can do this any way you want, and you can even create your own custom filters to get the information that you want specifically. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.